This is the Acker turn. There are four of these in the machine shop. If you're going to do threads per inch, which is here, this is your chart that you use, and these are the levers that you will change to get your different positions. Two threads per inch, three threads per inch, four and three eighths, or four and three quarter threads per inch. This is the chart that tells you what to do, along with the position for these two levers. This is your speed, so you got spindle speed here. If you want to be at 1,550 RPMs, you're going to be at A2. A, and this is already set on 2. Also remember that if it doesn't go into gear for you, you may have to turn the torque with your arm to get everything to lock in to the specific gearing. If it sounds like it's grinding, it's not in gear. So you may have to help it out a little bit. But that's your specific speeds for threads per inch and then your spindle speed. We're looking at our X and our Y and our Z axis. This moves your table in and out on the Y axis. This is your X axis. Everything's in increments of one thousandths. This is your compound. If you're threading, and you can change the angle for that to 29 and a half degrees or whatever you need to thread the appropriate piece of material. We've got on switch. This is for the automatic feed for the table right here. This as well, you can switch it on and off. So you can do Y axis or X axis power feed on this machine. This is your <coughs> live center or your drill and you can use it accordingly and set up whatever piece of material or chuck you need to in the back of the tailstock.